Hello, Gemini, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, looking at your connection to the person that you are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. Um, we'll be looking at all three sides of it. We've got your energy toward it, their energy toward it, and the energy in between it. The concept being that there are three sides to every story. So looking at your perspective, their perspective, and this higher level unbiased perspective in the middle, um, really trying to look at what is the truth of this connection, what is the purpose, and how best to move forward in alignment with your higher self. As always, we'll be using a different tarot deck for each side of the connection, but I have gone ahead and pulled the overall energy and clarified that, which I'll jump into in a second. Any information on the extended reading for this reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. All right, Gemini, on your side of this connection, you have soulmate with the five of swords. This is a person that you definitely either once did or do currently view as um like someone very special to you someone that you just feel or felt had a lot of potential now this five of swords energy is an energy of protecting yourself of being very defensive keeping someone at a distance and maybe something happened that made you feel like you have to do that and i feel like i don't know this soulmate energy it feels like it's like how you once felt or maybe it is how you currently feel. I'm not sure, but it's interesting because then this person, they have karmic path with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is a very triggering connection for this person. And I feel like it's very triggering for you too. So this feels like this very well could be like karmic soulmate kind of energy. Now, I'm not saying that that's what it is yet, so bear with me. It just, it feels like there is some sort of a karmic lesson that exists in this connection that is needing to come to a close for both people. There's a, there's a big lesson here for both people. Um, obviously, since this is your reading, Jim and I, we're going to focus on yours. Um, the one thing I didn't mention is that these energies can absolutely be swapped. So if you resonate more with the energy to my right than to my left, it's totally fine and totally normal. Um, remember, these are general readings. They're not here to resonate fully with everyone. So take what resonates and helps your personal situation and leave what doesn't. Now, in between this connection, there's time with the Eight of Swords in reverse. This Eight of Swords in reverse is my favorite card in tarot. It's releasing yourself from the limiting beliefs that keep you trapped and not being able to live the life of your dreams. Now, there's a limiting belief on both sides playing a big role here. What I'm getting at with this message is like, what I hear is like, time will tell. Time will tell the truth. I don't know what that means yet. Don't know what that means yet. That's, what I, that's what's coming up. Time will tell the truth. I don't know what that truth is. I mean, time always does reveal all. But I also feel like as time moves forward, there will be clarity in this connection as well. But <laughs> let's just start. Gemini by looking at your side of this connection, clarifying soulmate with the five of swords. This is Gemini's side of this connection. This is Gemini's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. This is Gemini's side of this connection. One more. This is Gemini's side of the connection, please. All right. Does Gemini need to know about their energy in this connection? So you're feeling this five of pentacles. You feel a loss in this connection. I feel like you feel, there's like an emptiness that you're experiencing without this connection. But I want more on this five of pentacles because I feel like there's more to it than just the loss. Clarifying this five of pentacles. Yeah, you're healing from this loss. Ooh, but there's the King of Swords in reverse. This can be an energy of, of kind of mistreatment. It feels like you're, you're building. You experienced a lot of loss in this connection. And it's like you're building yourself back up. There's an energy of building yourself back up because of it. It's like you're healing, like this is like picking back up the pieces. 
and through when at, while you're picking back up the pieces i feel like you're having to deal with like so much fear I don't know what fear, what you're afraid of, but so much fear. It's almost like, well, actually, I'm going to keep going. So it's Gemini side of this connection. So I this soulmate energy. It feels more like what you once thought there could be in this connection. Gemini side of this connection. Yeah, because you're just wanting some sort of a new beginning. I feel like you're just wanting to no longer feel this five of pentacles. This loss, this emptiness. And that's what you're working on. You're working on trying to find a new beginning. And trying to pick yourself back up. Like you had the eight of pentacles and then the four of pentacles, which caused me to say like picking yourself back up. From this. Gemini side of this connection. Gemini side of this connection, please. Gemini side of this connection. Yeah, because you were heavily taken for granted here. Gemini. And I feel like that has affected you in a lot of ways because it's like not only are you dealing with the loss of the connection, you're dealing with the loss of yourself that you gave to this connection. Because this doesn't feel like a connection that's currently together, at least not in a healthy way. I feel like it's because you are, you're healing from it. So you were heavily taken for granted in this connection. And I feel like you gave a lot, but received very little back. This is for Gemini's side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. This is for Gemini's side of this connection. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, you spent a lot of your time and your energy investing into them. And I feel like so much of your time and energy was spent investing into them that it almost felt like you had nothing left to give yourself. Now, this king of pentacles here, um, you don't have to be dealing with an earth sign this to still be a reading i just like calling them out as i see it because i also feel like this could be like the circumstances surrounding this connection like you invested so much in like maybe trying to build a home with them or trying to help them or i don't know whatever resonates with you and i feel like it feels like all that time was wasted. Like, that's the thing is this loss. It's not just the loss of the connection. It's the loss of the time and the energy and everything that you gave to this connection that I feel like you're really trying to heal from because I feel like you gave so much and got, and it all kind of amounted to nothing. And that's been what's been so hard for you to overcome. Gemini side of this connection. Gemini side of this connection. See, and I feel, Gemini, like you've put a lot of blame on yourself for why things fell apart here. I don't feel like, I mean, in any situation, it takes two. In any situation, it takes two. And I feel like... I don't know why, but I feel like there was this attachment that 
back. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm, I'm trying to make sense of how this all ties together because you have this pressure that you're putting on yourself for like why things fell apart. But then you have this devil, this like attachment with the two of pentacles in reverse. It's like this attachment which made things very one-sided. There is an imbalance here. Like you gave so much and got back so little, yet you're putting the blame on yourself for things falling apart. That's what I don't understand. It's just very obvious that you weren't getting what you deserve. However, there's a part of you that feels like you did something wrong. And it does take two. I mean, that, that's both, that, that applies to both sides. But I feel like it's like you're upset with yourself for the fact that things didn't work out, even though this person very obviously didn't help that at all. And so, I don't know, there's this need to like, to not be, I don't know, like, don't be so hard on yourself almost. Like, I don't know, like, it could be like, gosh, I can't believe I let them do that. Or I can't believe I fell for that. Or I can't believe um, I let them treat me that way. Or I can't believe I didn't try hard enough or uh, whatever the case is. It could be anything. And this is a general reading. So take it as it resonates. But it's like, there's this energy of like, blaming or being so hard on yourself for how things went down when you're needing to realize that this is just there's something bigger going on here. There's a bigger lesson at play. Gemini side of this connection. Like, I can't believe I let them take me for granted, or I can't believe I let this happen, or again, or something. Gemini side of this connection. Like, first and foremost, give yourself some grace here, Gemini. You're, you're just a human. Gemini side of this connection, please. Yeah, this was, this person was very controlling toward you. Like very, um, like, like, I don't necessarily know if manipulative, but I, let me get more on this emperor in reverse. More on this emperor in reverse for Gemini's side of this connection. But it's like you're you were used to this. Like this person was very controlling. But maybe you're experienced to ex you're used to experiencing that kind of controlling energy, which is why maybe you I don't want to say put up with it, but allowed yourself to yeah put up with it to accept it. Right? Is because if that's what you're used to experiencing, if you had very controlling know parents or a very controlling father figure or mother figure or um if you've just been kind of prone to controlling people in relationships in the past like it makes sense why this would happen now this might be trying to break a cycle so that you don't get in this situation again but it does feel like control is a really big factor here let's get more this is the person that Gemini is dealing with side of the connection to Gemini. This is a very triggering connection for this person. Which is interesting because I feel like you're the one who's, who should be triggered here. All right. This person's energy toward Gemini. This person's energy toward Gemini, please. Oof. Okay. <laughs> this person's in this Queen of Wands in reverse energy. That is what I like to call my fit throwing card. Um, doesn't mean that this person is a child or acts like a child or anything like that. Just means that this person has a tendency to allow their emotions to control them. And if they allow their emotions to control them, then most likely they sabotage or 
they create chaos or whatever the case might be. Now, I feel like you may be invested so much in trying to help this person. And it's almost like they weren't interested in being helped. This is a very karmic lesson for both people here. So I'm interested in how this is going to go, how this reading is going to go. This person's energy toward Gemini. This person's energy toward Gemini, please. See, they are, this is the emperor in reverse again with the hermit in reverse and the lovers in reverse. So here's the thing. This person has a tendency to be very controlling because they don't feel deserving of love. They don't feel deserving of love. And I feel like they don't feel deserving of you. Now, Maybe they made you feel undeserving of them, but that's kind of funny how it works, right? If they don't, if someone doesn't feel deserving of you, they're going to do what they can if they don't, if they don't have, a, if they don't know how to healthfully manage their emotions, they're going to do what they can to make you feel undeserving of them. And I feel like that's what happened here. So the way that they handled things had nothing to do with your worth and everything to do with how they feel about their worth this person's energy toward gemini please this person's energy toward gemini please Yeah, see, they don't have any kind of, they don't have confidence with the strength in reverse. They don't have, like, they don't have this confidence in themselves. They don't see their own worth, and they project that onto you, Gemini. That's the whole thing. So maybe they made you feel like you were the one who was insecure. You were the one who didn't feel good enough, or you were the one who wasn't confident enough. When in reality, it was them. And that's usually how it works. If someone makes you feel less than what you are it's because they're struggling with feeling that way about themselves and that's where you have to learn you know you got to give love to the people hurt have the hurt people who hurt people but you know you can love someone all day long but that does not mean that you have to tolerate them <laughs> you do not have to tolerate their treatment of you um because i feel like this person is very defensive I, <sighs> Without being too mean, like I'm, I don't want to be mean toward this person because I'm not going to lie. I have been this person before. I, it, not intentionally, but I was in a place of being so insecure, so hurt, so unable to see my value, such a lack of self-awareness that I hurt a lot of people in connections that I've been in the past because I felt like um, – like I need, I, I was looking for my worth to be proved through them. And, and when I would feel inferior, it would be my intention unconsciously. I wouldn't realize I was doing this, but I would um, do things to make other people not feel so good about themselves to feel better about myself. Um, I used to be this person. So please know that I can give love to this person all day long because that is my past self. But I've learned over time, you know, there were a lot of people that walked away from me or that, um, you know, ended up not being able to put up with, with the way that I treated them so much that those people that walked away from me and cho chose themselves were the people that made me realize I needed to change. And so sometimes, and, and what I'm kind of getting at is sometimes people don't realize what they're even doing wrong until... They have that like wake up moment. And I feel like this person might be dealing with that. Like they might be very deeply hurt to the extent that they do not know how what they're doing is wrong. And so when you try to call them out on it, they get really defensive because I don't feel like they actually like full on survival mode, allowing their emotions to control them, just kind of like flailing, trying to make things work. And, and, and yes, that falls back on you. And that has caused you a lot of pain. 
And although, again, you can give empathy towards this person, you can say, man, you know, that sucks that they're in such a bad place that they feel like they have to bring other people into a bad place too. You don't have to put up with that treatment and you certainly don't have to take it personally. Because I can tell you from experience, having been this person in the past, before I woke up, before I had my spiritual journey, before I healed, that um, it's not personal. It has every single thing to do with them and nothing to do with you. All right, this person's energy toward Gemini. This person's energy toward Gemini, please. This person's, in, and I, I will say, I've been on both sides of this. I've been the person who was mistreated, and I've been the person who's, who um, has been mistreated. And I feel like that's why I like doing these readings, because I understand these perspectives. I've, I've been there. This person's energy toward Gemini. Um, somebody walked away from this connection. Could have been one of you. Could have been both, but it feels like it was one person. And it feels like, well, actually, it, what I what is basically happening is like now that this this connection has, is it feels kind of like you walked away, Gemini. Doesn't have to be that, but it feels like now that this has happened, someone walked away. Now they don't have anyone to put their emotional burdens on they don't have anyone to project all their stuff onto and people like this again speaking from experience people like this certainly don't like being alone or spending time alone so they're typically the person that jumps from one relationship to the next because that time alone means that they have to face themselves and when they're in relationships they have a mirror to project on um, and they can allow their problems to be somebody else's fault instead of their own again I can say this because I've been there. Um, and so I do feel like that's a lot of what this person deals with in this connection. Um, and, you know, they've made you feel inadequate and they have made you feel like you have given so much to them to try to help them or try to, you know, help them see their own worth and so on and so forth. And I, I'm not going to lie, I don't think they're super interested in being helped. Because first and foremost, in order for someone to be helped, they have to be able to take accountability for the things they're doing wrong. And I don't necessarily know if this person has the emotional wherewithal to do that. This person's energy toward Gemini. Ego. Their ego controls them. Okay, we've seen every sign now. We've seen the King of Cups, the Queen of Wands, um, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. So I don't know what sign you're dealing with. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter. But their ego completely controls them. They are way more worried about how they look to other people than they are about how they feel. Um, now that's probably where they derive their value, right? How they look to other people. Now their ego, people who are egotistical, you know, you think narcissist, and, and the first thing that comes to mind, I'm not saying that's what this person is. I'm not here to diagnose anybody with any kind of nothing like that. But when you deal with people who do have um, narcissistic tendencies, you think inflated sense of self, right? You think, oh, they're so full of themselves, all they care about is their self, because that that typically comes with a um, a trait of very being very selfish. But the truth is that it's actually an absence of a sense of self. And the reason that those people, you know, people who struggle with that tend to be so selfish isn't because they're so full of themselves and they, you know, they they just love themselves so much that they expect everybody else to love them. That's not what it is. They love the person that their ego presents. They love the person that they want everybody else to see. They actually don't love themselves at all. And that comes down to the fact that why people like this have to be like from relationship to relationship to relationship or why these people have to project on someone at all times. It comes down to the fact that these people, there's a lot of them out there. Um, these people don't know how to look with it. And so 
you're over here trying to help in like in this energy of like rebuilding yourself up from the ground up after this person has hurt you. And this person's probably just like repeating old mistakes, right? And you're just left here to be like, what the hell? You came in, you wrecked my life like a freaking tornado. And then you're just like out. And I feel like what you need to understand is that though very unfair to you is a lesson for both people. This person is going to need to eventually learn that their love and their value is never going to come from one person or from anything outside of them. And you're going to have to learn how to not let um, people control and take advantage of you. Maybe you didn't even realize what's happening, right? It's a karmic lesson for both people. This person's gonna have to learn how to not control people. You're gonna have to learn how to how to stand up for yourself, no matter how much you love someone, right? Because that's the hardest part. Is oftentimes it's like you see, you can have empathy. You can be like, yes, I know that person was damaged. I know they've been through a lot like this, that, the other thing. And it's like sure, but that doesn't mean again, unconditional love and empathy does not equal unconditional tolerance. I feel like that should be the title of this reading. All right, this person's energy toward Gemini. This person's energy is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not saying they are crazy, but like it, they are really all over the place. Um, you have the King of Cups in reverse with the King of Wands and then this Eight of Pentacles. The Three of Wands in reverse. You know, people like this are takers. They take from other people because they're looking for other people to make them feel whole. So they take and they take and they take. And when that taking doesn't work, they need to take more. Because if they take, you know, if they take half of you, well, then they think, well, if I don't have all of you, then I'm not going to be fulfilled. They take all of you and you give them all of yourself. And they realize that doesn't work. So then they have to figure out who else they need to take from um, in order for that to happen. And so what I'm, what I'm getting at is takers, takers don't have a limit because they're in constant search of themselves. Now, givers are the other way around. Takers are trying to search for themselves by taking from other people. Givers are trying to search for themselves through giving to other people, over giving, giving, um, you know, parts of you expecting that in return. But when you don't receive that back in return and you feel like the person is asking for more, you give them more because you're like, oh, maybe if I give them a little more, then they'll give me some back. And maybe I need to just give a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until you have nothing left to give. One of, um, there's this TikToker, I don't know his name, but he was diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. And he, um, he's, he's very self-aware and very open about it and very good at explaining things. But anyway, he made this TikTok a while back that like brought me to tears, um, both from relationships that I was on this side of and relationships that I was on this side of, was he had this piece of paper and he was like doing this conversation between, I'm going to call it for the sake of this, this conversation, the giver and the taker. And the taker was like, the giver was like, oh, here's some of me. You know, I, I love you and I want to give you some of me. And the taker's like, thanks, I need more. And the giver's like, okay, here's a little bit more. And he keeps tearing pieces off of this paper until like he's left with this one piece. And the, the giver or the taker was like, I'm going to need, I'm going to need that. And the giver was like, well, that's all of me. And the taker was like, well, I'm sorry, but I have to have that. And he just like takes it from them. And then um, I guess my chill's just talking about. And then he just like leaves and the, the giver is left with nothing. The giver has given his entire self to the taker and the taker has nothing else to um, be able to take. And so he leaves to find out, you know, to find the next person to take from. And, you know, this, those people, again, it comes down to realizing that those, you know, I, I see these comments, these people are, you know, this person was so evil and so this and so that and so manipulative. And though those things are probably, you know, could be true on a certain level. There is a sense of darkness that comes with being very hurt and being very stuck in a dark place. Those people, um, they're just trying to survive like the rest of us, you know, and sometimes the means of survival look a little bit different. And so the biggest lesson in this reading is there's a giver and there's a taker. And the taker has no limit and the giver has a, has no limit because the giver is going to give as much as it needs to to feel valued and the taker is going to take as much as it needs to to feel valued. Um, 
but you can the, the difference is the taker can take as much as it wants the giver can only give so much because you only have so much to give and so that's a big that's that that right there is the big overarching lesson that's coming through now this tie with the eight of swords in reverse is interesting because i'm not sure how that plays into things so we have the truth of this connection with the time and the eight of swords in reverse i'm going to hop on over to the extended i'm going to pull nine different messages and then dive into an advice card at the end thank you so much jim and i as always for your support of my channel and the hiccups um, for your support of my channel i do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you are needing today and as always i wish you absolutely nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward bye, bye gemini